Your performance at Chatham House was embarrassing. Atiku fires Tinubu. Wow. This <laughs> Tinubu acting at Chatham House in London on Monday is causing a lot of uproar. Everybody is reacting to it left, right, and center. Tinubu has become notoriously popular because of that outing. Huh. And after avoiding the Arise TV town hall on Sunday in Lagos, he went to um, he went to, to London to cause another uproar. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, has flayed his all progressive congress APC counterpart, Bola Tinubu, over his performance at the Chatham House in London. It was reported that Tinubu on Monday spoke to the Chatham House audience on his agenda for the country if elected as president in 2023. The former governor of Lagos State also answered questions directed at him through some members of his campaign team. Hmm. In a statement on Tuesday titled 2023, a comedian visits Chatham House hey, and signed by his media AD, Frank Shaibu, Atiku said Tinubu's performance at the event was embarrassing and disgraceful. The PDP presidential hopeful asserted that his APC counterpart is weak, tired, and should be allowed to rest, adding that Tinubu could not defend his manifesto. Atiku said the Chatham House event would have been an opportunity for Tinubu to redeem himself after he avoided the town hall organized by the Arise TV and other media houses. He, however, said the APC flag bearer fell short of Nigeria's expectation and also failed to sell himself to voters at the public event. The statement reads, the disgraceful campaign of APC candidate Bola Tinubu right, reached his nadir at Chatham House in London, where he was expected to have sold himself six long months after emerging as the candidate of the party. The self-styled Lagos uh, godfather has continued to avoid any public engagement with other candidates because his intelligence pales in comparison to others. Oh boy. After reading his prepared speech for about 15 minutes, it was time for the questions and answer session. Clearly lacking the capacity to respond to easy questions, he claimed his style is to delegate and thereafter decide to call on members of his campaign, of his campaign to answer questions for him. It is baffling that Tinubu could not defend his manifesto, which he personally launched amid fanfare. His action was like a final year student calling on his colleagues to come to help him defend his project, utterly disgraceful. Rather than reveal how he would tackle insecurity, Tinubu called on Governor Nasser Erufai to answer the questions on, the, on his behalf. Noting that for clarity, the Cardinal Governor recorded 1,192 civilian killings uh, alone in 2021, almost leveling with that of war-torn Syria, and therefore not qualified to speak on the issue, and that is true. This is also a governor that admitted to paying killer insurgents to stop murdering his people. He hurriedly withdrew his children from school last year because of his security, but left the children of the masses to their fate. Early this year, Cardinal State was cut off completely, becoming inaccessible by air, train, or road. In August, he wrote a letter to President Buhari stating that the election may not take place in some part of the state due to the activities of terrorists. Yet, he, Nasser El Fai, was the one nominated by Tinubu to address security issues. What a joke! Wow! Tinubu also could not respond to questions on healthcare and even the economy despite claiming to have developed Lagos. Rather, he nominated the speaker Femi Bajabia Mila, Betty Edu, and Wale Edu to do so on his behalf. No wonder he is not brave enough to attend debates. He cannot hold his own. For a man who constantly says, Emiloko, it is my turn. It is ironic uh, that he suddenly discovered that it is not his turn when it is time to answer serious questions. Tinubu was pointedly asked about his profile and background. He, st he started his story from his life at Chicago University, 
wondering why the former Lagos State Governor could not mention the primary and secondary school he attended and why he deliberately left them out of his Independent National Electoral Commission form, CF001. Without missing words, Bolatinubu's entire candidacy is built on a grand scam. He is like a puppet who on the surface appears to be, a, to be alive, but is actually being empowered by strange from a team backstage. Wow. In the unfortunate event that he becomes president, Tunubu's presidency will be run by a cabal pulling the strings from backstage. This is not about effective delegation, but the de dereliction of duty, right? The warning signs are there for Nigerians to see. Now, nah, man. The country is facing arguably its worst crisis since the Civil War. Unemployment is at a 3%. At least 103 million Nigerians live in abject poverty. The exchange rate, even at the official market, is at an all-time low. Um, debit is at an all-time high. And all revenue has dried up. According to the CBN, Nigeria cannot risk another failed presidency. It is only in Africa that persons who are unfit for offices on account of ill health insist on holding offices, even at the expense of the well-being of the economy and the citizenry. This country deserves a better healthy person. The office of the president is not for sick people. Tinubu, all right, has tried his best, but he is now weak and tired and should be allowed to go home and take a deserved rest. While I urge the electorate to vote for Atiku Abubakar at next year's poll as the former vice president is the only candidate that has got what it takes to turn around the fortunes of Nigeria. <laughs> now, wow, Nigeria can speak English. If it is to speak English and write, compose, we can do it. But the political willpower to do the needful, mm -mm, we will not do it. We are beclouded by our selfish interests. Mm -hmm. What we tell the public is not what we do when we get to the office. Now everybody is wooing the electorate, the populace, the lot that they have been doing in the past. And by the time they get to the office, they will forget that they were crawling on their knees, begging Nigerians, you know, to 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 vote for them. But right now, ha, now wow. So that is what uh, Tinubu is saying. Uh, I mean, Atiku is saying that the outing of Tinubu was very disgraceful at that Chatham house. It was something else. It's embarrassing to himself, to APC, and to the nation at large. At a global stage like Chatham House, Tinubu could not answer questions given to him and could not do anything, and they're calling it delegation of duties. That is not delegation of duties. That is gross incompetence, lack of knowledge and skill that is needed to attend such forum and also to lead Nigeria mm -hmm. if he eventually becomes the president of this country. So people should be smart, people should be intelligent, and people should know what to do come 2023 because this is accident which to happen according to some people they say may Tinubu not happen to you article 2 is not well let him tell nigerians what was uh, lodged in his stomach can you imagine so you know where to i took it stronger than you than you please say something else another comedian in the making Tinubu's nobody can deceive like nature yes now he's old and he's telling on him Shaking everywhere. Mr. Atiku is seriously mentally sick as well. Well, we need to prove that he is 1,000 times better than Mr. Tinubu. That's another response from there. Going here and there disgracing Nigeria. Go and rest, old man. That is a statement for Tinubu as well. It is a shame, and that is actually true because of the way it happened. Tinubu is a disgrace to himself. Shame, shame, shamelessly disgraceful man making fun of himself. Can you imagine? So a lot of people are saying it is bad. 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 All right. Let him go and rest and let stronger people run Nigeria. But at the same time, I don't think even if Tinubu goes to rest, Atiku is not the answer. Because Atiku also has his own health issues. Atiku has his own financial issues. Atiku has his own propensity and tendency for corruption, uh, has observed. And he does not even live in Nigeria. He lives in Dubai, so he is likely going to rule Nigeria also in prison. Just mm -hmm. like Tinubu has been accused that if he gets into office because of his health condition, he's probably going to lead Nigeria by prison. The same article will be in that show. So both article and Tinubu, we don't need them. APC and PDP, we don't need them. 
let a younger person in fresh blood and a fresh party take over the mantle of leadership and pilot Nigeria in the right direction. So that is my submission. Thank you for listening and let's have your comment below. Atiku Fire Tinubu says his Chatham House outing was an embarrassment to himself, to APC and to Nigeria at the global stage.